Hey, what's up everybody? On today's show, we're taking a look at an anamorphic lens from a company called Sandmark out of San Diego, California. This particular anamorphic lens is a 1.55 ratio, although they do make one that's a 1.33 as well. Uh, this lens supports everything from iPhone 7 all the way up to iPhone 13 Pro Max. Right away, out of the box, you get a black velvet pouch for carrying the lens, a sleek black phone case, a clip for mounting the lens without the case, and the lens itself, which comes with both front and rear lens caps. Uh, my particular package came with two phone cases, but I don't know if that's normal or if that's just part of the PR package that they send to YouTubers. Uh, also, while we're at it, I just want to say thank you to my friends at Sandmark for sending me this for review. Uh, obviously, as always, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but they were nice enough to send it to me, and I appreciate a company like that that supports small YouTube channels like this. Uh, anyway, let's jump outside and check out this lens in action. Now, for anyone not familiar with anamorphic lenses, this is a 1.55 anamorphic. This is what the footage looks like straight out of the camera. And then this is what the footage looks like when you de-squeeze it. You end up with this aspect ratio of 2.76 to 1, which gives you a much wider field of view than you would normally get. De-squeezing your footage is easy. You know, you can use an app like Filmic Pro to do it for you, or you can just use whatever editing software you use. You know, I personally use Final Cut Pro, and it's a simple process. You just go into the transform section and you alter the y-axis by 70%, and that basically just flattens out the image so that everything looks nice and natural. The footage from this lens looks genuinely good. It's such a simple way to make your phone footage look so much more interesting. And of course, you don't have to just use the phone's native camera app. You can actually use an app like Filmic Pro to shoot in flat or long profile and give yourself way more options for color grading. Now, one interesting thing that I've noticed is you do have to be more mindful of your movements, especially if you're using an older phone like me. Uh, I'm filming all this on an iPhone XS and I've noticed that when I tried vlogging with this lens, if you kind of walk a little too fast, you start to get this like warpy stuff in the background. See, here's a really good example. If you're just kind of walking at a normal pace on uneven ground and you're just sort of stomping around, you notice how you'll start getting all that warpy stuff in the background? You know, you can really see it when you look behind you. All the things are just kind of moving and waving like that. That's why you have to be a lot more careful with your footsteps. You know, and that's the thing, it's really easy to work around. You just need to be more mindful with your movements. Make sure that you're kind of avoiding any excess shake or any like heavy footsteps and your footage will actually look pretty smooth and clean. And another reason I think I like the Sandmark Anamorphic better is better lens flares. You know, I feel like other companies go a little too heavy handed with the lens flares. Like you see their footage and there's just this thick blue lines going right across the middle of the scene and it's like, Okay, you know, we get it. You're filming with an anamorphic lens. Sandmark does it in a way that's sort of nice and subtle. You know, it's not over the top. Instead, it looks more natural, more refined. It just has like a more elegant look to it. And I really like that. So is the Sandmark anamorphic lens worth it? Well, if you're into mobile cinematography, then the answer is a resounding yes. You know, I like everything about this package. You're getting a lens that's really well made. It has excellent build quality. It has really great optics. You know, and it's giving your phone footage such a unique look that you're just not going to get with the phone by itself. I've been really happy with the image quality. You know, the more I watch this footage, the more I just kind of fall in love with it. For me, it's a resounding yes. I 100% would check out this lens. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.